Okay, so hello. Um, <laughs> welcome to our playthrough of When the Night Comes. I'm sure we'll come up with a name for all of this later because uh, we currently don't have that. Um, so this, you can probably tell from the screen, this is a dating sim. Hell yeah. <laughs> and it's one of my personal favorites. And I'm making Sarah play it with me. That's me. So what we're yes. doing is it's open on my screen and she has um, access to my computer so she can move the mouse and pick the stuff that she wants to do. Yes. Um, yeah, see, because we can fight over control of it. Or are you trying and it's just not letting you? Oh, I'm moving the mouse. I don't know if you can the, see it or not. That's me. That's me moving I'm the mouse. I'm down here in the letters, in the words. Oh, wow. I can't see your mouse. Oh, no. Do we, have, do we need to fix it? No, I, when you do that, I can see. Not, now you're moving it. Okay, so maybe when you're moving it, it like... Pick, yeah, 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 now it's highlighting stuff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, cool. yeah, um, does, you can't hear the music, correct? I cannot hear the music at all. And I'm not sure that it is picking the music oh, up. should have made it full screen. Dope. In my recording. Uh, so it might be, it might not be. If it's not, then we will fix that for the next session. But for now... <laughs> I just want to, I just want to, I just want to... Oh, okay, are we going to talk about it? Are we going to talk about it? Are you going to say just, the thing that you've been wanting to say this I, whole time? Well, I did tell you yesterday that I see a lot of beefy boy chests. <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. I um, want to just, the like, make The makers of this it... game really enjoy titty. Yeah, Gen me like... too. We have that in common. I <laughs> I want to make some, um, some guesses. Some guesses, okay. What are you thinking? On who I'm going to like. Because aesthetically, I'm digging... Oh, I thought I heard somebody knock on my door for a second. I was terrified. Okay, for a second, I'm digging... Show me with the mouse. Show me with the mouse. Purple Dracula over here. Purple Dracula? Yes. Why, I like the Why purple Dracula? Tell me why you're calling him Purple Dracula when he was wearing a red shirt. hair looks purple to me. I, it, okay, I think y you do have a point with the lighting. Yeah. Okay, so is his hair not purple? <laughs> That's just no, the it lighting. is not. It's not purple. Okay. Well, Purple Dracula... But I feel like knowing me, I'm either gonna go for cat boy over here. He is not a cat boy. Dog boy? Yeah, that's yeah, that's closest, I suppose. Or shrimpy. Shrimpy. I just always go for the sh either the okay, mean I'll, one or the short one. That's what I always do. I'll always I'll also let you know that there are two polyamorous roots in this game. Nice. I'm not going to tell you who they are. Okay. Um What if it was them. cat boy and shrimpy? It's that would not be with Cat Boy and Shrimpy. Damn it. I will tell you that. But um, I also only see one woman. Is, is there's only one girl and there's one non-binary character. Um, cool. Blue shirt. Nice. They're non-binary. Nice. Love the hair. But yeah, so I'm gonna do my best not to spoil anything for you. This is also a murder mystery. So oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you <laughs> yes, know it's a supernatural so well. murder mystery, so I think we it's right kissing, up your alley. We got murder, we got supernatural. We have I'm kissing, ready. we have I'm murder, ready. we have suggestive I'm star, themes. I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing is you have to read the stuff. I don't think we're going to do voices. Also, the game is 18 plus. Yes. Um, yes. It's suggestive, but it's not so suggestive that I'm like worried about it. So um Okay, so you get to pick what your name is going to be. Can I be boring? Oh, shit, I didn't know I could type on your computer. Okay. You're going to name yourself Sarah? That's my name. It well, is It is your name. You can do it. You can do that. I want them to say, when I'm engaging in a relationship with two-dimensional titty anime boys, uh -huh. I like it when they say my actual name. I think that's normal. You're, you're valid. My last name is uh, Robin. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, for reference... It's Sarah and I'm Robin. Yes. <laughs> we did not explain that to anyone watching this. No, nobody's watching this. <laughs> yeah, no one will watch it. <laughs> We're calling it now. No one will watch it. If you, okay. if you're uh, a member of Lunaris, if you're watching Games, this, you're not actually watching this. Please, if if you're part of Lunaris Games and you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Don't. <laughs> I've been selected for immediate transfer and are authorized to report to the enforcement headquarters, Lunaris. Mm hmm my information and my mission documents and it's gone okay yeah you didn't read fast enough i'm sorry no it's okay i arrived there at dusk huh? i've been traveling for days and my feet are sore my eyes are tired and all i can think about is how much i need a damn good night's sleep i do have a question is there any like is everything going to be a still image because these words are loading in real slow on my end uh yeah they're loading in kind of slow for me but okay, you can good. you you click to move it so 
you should I'm a hunter and I've been called here by the Lieutenant General of Escria to lead an investigation. The matter apparently urgent. Oh, am I a detective? Kind of. It's been a series of particularly like violent officer. murders here lately and they can't seem to put their finger on who or what the culprit is. I was the most You're skilled a fantasy general cop. in the previous town. Oh, I don't... I, I, okay. And I was assigned to you, but eagerly welcome the change of scenery. Yeah, this is good purple scenery here that isn't terrifying. There we go. Even if it does involve murder. It cracks enough that you can't hear the music because the music is very... I'll just... We'll, I'll, we'll put it in post. <laughs> we'll Today as I post. sink... As I sink further into the town, the feeling of dread that's washing over me is making me wonder if I made the right choice. As if I even really had one at all. I wander aimlessly through the narrow streets, unable to focus on much else other than the thought of a warm meal and a comfy bed. The only thing that distracts me from such thoughts is the way the sky begins to turn an inky, infinite black. Good, good, everything's good. This is Wisp normal, if there's no problems here, everything's perfect, and no everything's one gets Everything's purple, everything's perfect. I run my ankles seeping out from every crack and crevice. <laughs> Flickers of magic are present within the smoky tendrils, and I can't help but wonder if my mind is playing tricks on me. I turn a sharp corner and see people running, scooping up small children, scrambling to get inside. The sounds of doors slamming and locking echoes off the crooked stonework. Curtains are drawn, windows closed, and then... Darkness! It's even darker, Sarah. How does that make you feel? Um, good! I'm I'll up in my screen brightness. I don't think that'll do oh, anything Oh, so did I, and I thought for a second I was controlling it on your end. You might have... Was I? Hang on, Wait, let me try it again. Wait, can you see... Like, does this change things for you? Like, if I do this? No. Okay, no. I, I didn't think it would, but... Okay, we, like, did it at the same time, though, so I thought I was controlling <laughs> yours for a second. Same hat, although same the, person. Although the stars are shining brightly at a glance, and the crescent moon hangs low, neither offers much light. It's unsettling, to say the least. A chill rolls down my spine and I walk faster, so our feet continuing their protest. The instincts that have been part of me since my initiation into the Order kick in and I have a feeling deep in the pit of my stomach that I need to get inside and fast. I spot a mage light lantern as I head further down the street, the dull blue flames flickering invitingly in the darkness, drawing me in. Okay. Oh, dope! I push the weather door open and the light tinkle of a bell announces my presence okay this is like this is a dope setup that's my opinion it's the, empty I, no i love the art of this game and only very dimly lit by a few well-worn i can't read candles there's candles there's candles here yes thank good job sarah the walls are lined with curious trinkets jars of strange looking ingredients and potions and an apparently endless collection of dusty old books yeah it smells faintly of incense and a little of is that ozone Yes, like the way the air smells just before a storm. Okay, I was like, how do you know what ozone is? Uh, or how it smells. I hear footsteps and turn to find their owner, and I'm taken aback by the figure that appears from behind a pair of well-placed curtains. Oh! <laughs> it's Shrimpy! <laughs> you say Shrimpy, but he's... He's taller than me. He's short... I, he's 5'9". Well, I'm 5'8". <laughs> You're not 5'8". I am 5'8". You're 5'9". I am 5'9". Maybe I'm 5'9". Because I'm 5'8". You're 5'... Five... Are you? I yeah. thought we were the same height. Okay, I'm 5'7 and 3 three quarters and I'm just the Hello slightest there, bit shorter closing than you. up, but can I help you? <laughs> Wide eyes burn into me brighter than the clearest of emeralds. Okay. I do think this guy's the cutest one. He's very cute. His aura is distinctly magical and I'm aware I'm looking at a witch, a powerful one at that, with a capital W. I'm sorry to intrude, but I appear to be a little lost. I'm looking for the tavern. This is super not the tavern. This is the hot boy store. <laughs> yeah. His gaze falls to my weapons, my sash, his cheeks darkening, his realization apparently sets in. Oh. Oh. Oh, are you the new hunter? <laughs> <laughs> I smile, delighted by his charming, surprised expression. He is ch I'm- can I say? Yes. Charming and surprised. That's what I'm getting. And I'm delighted. <laughs> is it that obvious? He returns my smile, and I can't help but feel welcome, strangely at home. It's very lovely to meet you. The town has been alight with gossip about you this week. Oh, my name is Ezra, by the way. Okay, cool, because when I read this, I thought it just said Era, but that's a Z. Okay. <laughs> my name is Sarah. Um, I and this is Era. I'm literature, and I can't read. <laughs> this is- I'm Sarah, and this is my boyfriend, Era, and our ship name is Sarah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you, Ezra. 
Well, Sarah, did anyone happen to tell you not to wander the streets when darkness falls? As capable a hunter as I'm sure you are, it's not advised, especially these days. I shake my head, still a little out of sorts from the long journey. Then, much to my embarrassment, my stomach decides to grumble loudly, causing Ezra to throw me a curious look. That's embarrassing. How <laughs> rude of me, you must be starving. Take a seat in the back room and I'll quickly fix you something up. You really don't have to do that. I better be on my way, but not. You'll do no such thing. It's too dangerous out there. Please, I insist. There's no trouble, really. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you insist. <laughs> I could hardly refuse what he's looking at me like that. Girl, don't I know it. Okay. Girl, don't I know it. This looks exactly like a house I've built in The Sims. That's because you have really good taste when building in The Sims. Oh, thank you. Like, I recognize that plant and everything. I nod and follow him as he parts the curtains from which he appeared, revealing a cozy living space. Cozy with an S. Okay. Uh, so just so you in know, British? this it's it's most of this is written in British English. Cool. Um, and small... all of the characters have are supposed to have like English accents. Uh, one of them has a Scottish accent. I'll oh, should I be doing? <laughs> Please. <laughs> should, should I be doing? Please oh, switch into doing a really bad <laughs> British accent. Yeah, so hell yeah. Ezra's is supposed to be like a little bit Greek, but I'm not really sure what a Greek accent sounds like. I have no idea what a Greek accent sounds like. Anyway, there's a small kitchenette with a crooked dining table. But if you want to do a British accent, I will literally die. And nestled in the corner is a tattered but comfy looking sofa. Ezra fills an old steel kettle and pops it in the stove, on the stove, igniting the stubborn burner before he turns and offers me a smile. I'll take that smile. I'm just going to pop upstairs to get you some blankets. I really do insist that- Oh, I sh Sorry, I was supposed to be doing a voice. <laughs> do the voice. 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 Hang on, I can't remember how British people sound. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot for a reason. I have to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible. Hang on, I gotta meditate on it. I'll do it later. I'd hate to send you out into the darkness knowing- He pauses, stopping himself. Just wait here and please make yourself comfortable. Okay. I can think of nothing worse than even walking across the street right now, let alone across town. Okay, thank you, Ezra. Cool. Disappears up a narrow staircase, and my curiosity instantly gets better of me as I start to have a little look around. Don't do that. I've done that before. They're going to walk in. It's going to be embarrassing. Snooper. Snooper. A solitary candle. It's very you, though. It's in character. That's true. Burns upon the countertop. Colorful little lights hanging from various pictures and shelves. It's utterly enchanting, just like its owner. Okay, girl, it's been three minutes. Don't be all, oh, he's enchanting. You have to okay, play to be hard fair, to though, get. the narrator is like that about, like, literally everyone you meet. Well, so am I, but, like, I know <laughs> so how to control myself. <laughs> this is an internal narrative. It's fine. It's fine. I know, but I can control that, too. <laughs> The shop is obviously well-loved, an abundance of personal belongings littering various shelves and nooks, and a picture of his own self right there. Um, I eye a tiny dish that's overflowing with brightly colored jewelry, and beside it is a pile of crumpled parchment. Oh, we got a jewelry level boy in here. Hell yeah. Some of the pages are covered in elegant looping script, and others are filled with lovingly rendered portraits, mostly of Ezra himself. Okay. Tentatively reach for one of the sketches at the top of the pile, but a loud creak startles me. Yeah, girl, put that shit down. He's gonna think you're weird. <laughs> I turn, always as on edge as I've been taught to be, my fingers edging towards my weapon, the hairs on the back of my neck standing to attention. There's a creature nearby. A creature. That's when I see them. Are you just a little creature? A pair. <laughs> I'm just. I cannot help this. A pair of glowing, fierce golden eyes peeking up at me from a previously hidden hatch in the floorboards, and before I can even think about defending myself. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The I love your excitement. By a firm, cold, and inherently not human arm. Bro, I love your piercings. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Where's Ezra? A growl <laughs> rumbles deep in his chest, lips curls into a smile, affording me a view of a set of sharp white fangs. This isn't purple, Dracula. This, <laughs> this is somebody else who's purple. Is it? Yeah, you did not even you did not even point this guy out on the front page. Pur yeah, it was purple Dracula had like a ponytail because that's why I liked it. I okay. Yeah, this is a very different hairstyle, yeah, so you can assume that this I is a totally very different ignored. person. Yeah, if I hadn't already clocked his deathly pallor, there'd be no second guessing what kind of creature I'm dealing with here. Vampire. Woo! I knew I knew I'd already be quite dead if this is what he truly wanted. I feel nothing from him other than an overwhelming desire to protect something or someone. Wait, I didn't process that feel nothing from him other than okay he's protecting Ezra cool Zora's panics but unthreatening so I decide to relax against his hold okay <laughs> getting comfy all right 
I cautiously raise my hands and surrender in the hopes that he'll stand down. I do not condone harming creatures who do not wish har to harm me. That's a good. Plus, I've met a few reasonable vampires with a capital V in my time. A few. I did not put my computer on Do Not Disturb. You should do that. Uh, let me do that real quick. Well, he's retreating a little, enough for me to gather my composure. Please, let me put it on Do Not Disturb. Okay. Hopefully these aren't timed. Oh, how do I- No, nothing's timed. Uh, no, I wasn't getting anything. I just was like, what if someone texts me? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna tell him Ezra is safe, because that's obviously important to him. Ezra's fine, I swear it. Oh, he's got a dope tattoo! Okay. It's not a tattoo. He's got a dope something or other, okay. It, it's a it's a whole ass arm. He's got a dope arm. Well, he does have a dope tattoo. It's just, it's right here and right there. <laughs> this bright design. Yeah, that's a prosthetic. Eyes. Oh, okay, fuck. I'm going to stop spoiling better. shit. Burn into my own, a chill skittering over my skin. I like him. He looks like he's searching for something. Dark brown, <laughs> dark, dark brows twitching as he studies my face. I'm not lying, bitch. He's right across. Yeah. Oh, sorry. He looks relieved. I can't help but wonder what a vampire is doing sneaking into Ezra's home at this hour. That's who drew all them pictures? You think Ezra's full of himself? No. If you're playing <laughs> tricks on me, I'll have your head. I love the idea that Ezra did draw all those pictures of himself, though. Ezra's just, like, really Like, he's just, himself. like, really sweet, but also just, like, really into himself. He's like, I'm very sweet and very cute, and that's sexy of me. <laughs> he knows it. He knows it. And the, I mean, he owns is he it. wrong? No. I nod once, <laughs> my hand still raised where he could see I mean him no harm. I'm not lying, he's safe, he's upstairs. He takes a step back, but he still doesn't seem to trust me if the way he's looking at me is anything to go by. Bro, chill, okay? Out here with your collarbones. I didn't do shit. Bro, chill out here with your collarbones. Look at his collarbones! <laughs> the sound of the kettle whistling as it comes to boil distractions, and he visibly relaxes. Yeah, you think I know how to use a kettle, dude? No, that was this one. <laughs> His gaze quickly darts to the staircase, then back to me. He steps back, the candlelight illuminating his angular face. See, even she knows. Them but talk about, know. like, holy reaction, Batman. Like, <laughs> he sees you in the house and immediately goes, you must have killed Ezra. Ezra's fucking dead. I mean, to be fair, I have a lot of weapons on me, I think. And I'm just, That's fair, I guess. I have no idea who I am, and I'm just chilling in the house. He steps back, the candlelight illuminating his angular face, all sharp lines and hair as black as the night. This is Purple Dracula. I was wrong about Purple Dracula Part 1. He's otherworldly, obviously attractive. Okay. And his left arm is missing from the shoulder down. And his place is an advanced-looking prosthetic flowing with what looks like incredibly advanced magic. He catches me looking and quirks a dark, scarred eyebrow. Yeah, I watched his little face to watch him quirk his eyebrow, and I'm very, very glad the payoff was great. Like what you see, hmm? Sorry, it's not for sale. Your body? <laughs> not for sale? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, everybody's got a price, I mean. Ezra appears <laughs> from upstairs, his eyes wide as he surveys the sight before him. Hey, dude. Your boyfriend yelled at me. <laughs> Finn, what are you doing here? They meet each other halfway, the vampire reaching for him. Iron fingers tenderly curl around Ezra's forearm, his prosthetic growing brightly as if it's responding to the touch. To Ezra. Yeah, that's me too. I feel a little like I'm intruding by watching this exchange, but I just can't seem to bring myself to look away. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I sense that you felt uneasy. I came immediately. Are you- I just noticed his, like, hairy chest. Okay. He's like baby smooth up here, but he's got like a hairy chest and no arm here. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Ezra smiles, covering Finn's hand with his own. The intricate patterns etched into the dark iron, flickering in kind. I'm fine. I was very briefly startled by the appearance of our new friend here. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> That's me! <laughs> That's me! Hello! Finn's gaze is straight far from Ezra, his dark brows drawing together in a deep frown at the mention of me. I get it. Like, I'm intruding. Like, I see. I'm sorry about that introduction, Hunter. Is that me? <laughs> Things were a little on Yeah, you're a hunter. We discussed that. My name isn't Hunter. I have a name. <laughs> hunter is your title. He Ezra huffs a Like, officer. Shaking his head almost incredulous. Because you're a fantasy cop. I know I'm a fantasy cop. Fantasy I, ACAP. Are fantasy, co <laughs> are fantasy cops nicer than regular cops? That reassurance seems to make the tension. Play the game. Okay. 
from Finn's broad shoulders. This... Okay. <laughs> what? I just, like... Broad shoulders. That's not what I think of when I see people for the first time. I'm like, damn, they're fine. They got broad shoulders. A cool You arm. just have to accept. I don't know. It's <laughs> just not me, man. Like, I'm trying to get into character. <laughs> if, if you're gonna get into character, you have to He's be a ally. lot more shameless. <laughs> He's, an, He's ally. an ally. Sorry, Sarah, you don't need to be alarmed by Finn. He's an ally. Finn said gay rights. Finn is a straight ally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't even get through that sentence. Everyone is canonically bi, but... Yeah. Yes, ally. Erdo doesn't give him the best first impression. Finn offers me a genuine smile, but he looks guilty. You are guilty. You're guilty of crimes against cheekbones. I catch crimes Ezra eyeing me warily, clearly sensing my apprehension to the unusual situation unfolding before my eyes. Yeah, okay. Finn's whole demeanor changed the second he laid eyes on Ezra, and I feel any final traces of fear melting away as he steps forward and offers me his hand. The smile that crosses his lips is mischievous, and cold, cold fingers grip my own in a firm handshake. It's truly a pleasure, Sarah. Is it? <laughs> is it, though? No. His eyes brush over me like a caress. <laughs> Bitch, your boyfriend's standing right there. Pupils widening, dilating. I feel myself swaying, leaning towards him almost unconsciously. There's a soft whisper of muffled thoughts echoing in my mind, and I can't quite tell if they belong to me or him. Can vampires just do that? They just do that? It's soothing, and I suddenly feel at ease around him. Wait, isn't that the same- <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that the same power that Jasper from Twilight had? Um, <laughs> to make other people feel better? Okay, no. Here's here's what here's what I'm gonna tell you. This guy, his his talent is like mind reading, but different vampires have different things. But there is a Jasper vampire later. Well, sure, Edward's <laughs> thing was mind reading. Yes, this one is fantasy. This one is fiction. Edward. So this you'll meet Edward. fiction Jasper. Well, I want to date fiction Jasper then. Whatever he's not he's... an option. God. <laughs> Worst. This is, I don't want to play anymore. I'm just... <laughs> this is the. <laughs> You're like this is the worst day of my life. This is the worst day of my life. I want... It's soothing. Somebody needs to make a Twilight dating sim. I'm sure that already exists. If it doesn't I think exist, people I'll... should not do that. People should do it because now I want to date Jasper. <laughs> anyway, it's soothing, and I suddenly. Feel I don't believe in it. censorship, but maybe we should censor that. I believe in I believe in censorship of everything that's not a Twilight dating sim. <laughs> and whatever he's doing is granting me the foresight to see that he most certainly is harmless. Cool. I, love his sh I like his shirt, dude. Do you need some help tying it up? It's kind of open. Something tells me he now sees I'm harmless, too. Finnegan, stop that. It's not fine. <laughs> Sorry, that's very funny. Finn closes his eyes briefly, breaking whatever connection he's created with me. Oh, shit, he was reading my mind about how I thought they were both really hot. <laughs> I've heard of vampires enthralling their victims before a kill, but that felt unquestionably innocent. Okay. Like he wanted to show me he can be trusted. He exchanges an almost sheepish, knowing glance with Ezra, and I quickly feel my mind clearing itself. I'm just checking. Okay. He looks at me, and as our eyes lock, I nod once, appreciating that he cared enough to put me at ease. Huh. I hope he didn't hear <laughs> I hope he didn't hear anything untoward in there. Like <laughs> me thinking about how both like I want to get sandwiched by you and your boyfriend, I don't know. Anyway, Ezra fusses with the kettle, pouring me a cup of fragrant tea and offering it to me on a pretty floral saucer. I love that. Here, this will help you get a good night's sleep. I take the cup with a nod, both of them staring intently. For a second, I straight up like did not catch that it said a cup, and I thought he just poured it straight into the saucer and handed it to you, like lap it up, <laughs> like like a cat, like you just just drink it with your tongue. I take the. Cup with a nod, both of them staring intently as I take a small sip. Quit looking at me. Why are they so... I don't know, like, <laughs> look away from me. Like, that's weird. I know I'm in your house, but, like, dude, it's good, refreshing, and exactly what I need. So, Sarah, are you looking forward to becoming part of this shit ouch? <laughs> as her elbow him in the ribs, throwing him a stern warning glance, and the vampire flinches. Lovely town. Do you have any idea what you've gotten yourself into? Yeah? Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, must be daring. I'm used to a little adventure. I truly hope I can help. 
Ezra looks defeated but strangely optimistic. Okay. Did <laughs> I don't I feel like those go together, way? but I hope my words sound honest because I really have little choice. I have to help. It's my job. My duty. Well, you certainly seem capable enough. I haven't done anything except screw up by being out at night when I wasn't supposed to be because nobody told me not to be out at night and get tackled by a vampire. That's all I've done. Whatever. Look, when you think someone's cute, you are willing to let them be bad at their job. He's like, she's hot, I feel like so that, she must that's be a good great at ex- Yeah, that's basically, I feel like, the excuse for a lot of what happens. That makes sense. I really am digging this one particular curl right here. Yeah. I'm loving that. I'm also loving this big, gigantic curl right here that's definitely at least four inches longer than the rest of the hair. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Finn Grimace is exchanging a strange look with Ezra, and I feel like they're not telling me something. Maybe I should have gone with the other option. <laughs> My clan and I are at your disposal. Should you require? Did I just get a vampire clan? <laughs> <laughs> vampire clan, get. <laughs> that was easy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Social link, get. I offer them both a smile, finishing up my tea. Ezra hurries to take the empty cup from me and sets it upon the table. Okay. He places his hand upon Finn's arm. So they just, like, watched you with rapt attention until you yeah, finished your tea. Yeah, I was just, like, drinking my tea it. and, like, getting stared at. The intricate patterns that are etched into the iron, flickering with the contact once again. Very flesh-colored iron on this prosthetic arm. I think it's a little paler than the rest of him, but I can't really Maybe tell. a little, but, like, it could also just be the lighting. Finn, yeah, Sarah true. needs to rest. Maybe you should... Fuck off. No, just kidding. Stay. Finn nods, and Ezra follows him as he heads for the hatch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the word hatch is funny. They embrace, and Finn whispers something into Ezra's ear. The witch smiling brightly. Oh, I forgot he was a witch. I was sitting here, like, wondering what he was. Smiling brightly as he pulls away. Finn's warm, golden gaze locks with my own, and he smiles softly. Take care, Sarah. If you ever need anything, just scream, and I'll come running. Okay. Like, any scream? Okay. It's it's more fun if you just come up with, like, <laughs> different stuff to yell, I think. He winks, and my traitor's cheeks warm at the sight of it. Girl, c- control yourself. He notices and laughs quietly. That's embarrassing. A deep, comforting rasp that I could- Oh. We're continuing. We're good. Please. A comforting rasp that I could most certainly get used to. Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, just thinking about a comforting rasp. It was nice to meet you, Finn. Their fingers brush as Finn gracefully lowers himself into the hatch, and Ezra stares almost longingly into the darkness until the door slams shut. Okay. (laughs) He turns, clearing his throat as he retrieves a tin of biscuits from a cupboard, offering them to me and waiting expectantly until I take a bite. Are you going to stare at me the whole time again? Listen, please don't let our apprehension worry you. I'm sure you're more than capable of getting to the bottom of these murders, Sarah. It's just not safe out there, not even for someone like you. Some are saying this town has been cursed, but I sense something else. Something bigger. Ooh. Even though we've only just met, I trust him without question. Within moments of my arrival, I could tell something about this town is off, and I intend to get to the bottom of this mess. We've lost people, good people, and the investigation seems to have halted. We don't know what more we can do. He quickly gathers himself, forcing a laugh to break the somber mood. Oh dear, look at me getting all emotional when you're probably absolutely desperate to get some sleep. I'm, I mean, sure. As much as I hate to admit it, I am, and I stifle a yawn as Ezra returns to fuss with some blankets. I suddenly remember just how fatigued I am, and I'm thoroughly looking forward to settling upon the tiny sofa. Thank you for letting me stay, Ezra. I'll be out of your hair come morning. Click. There you go. Really, it's no problem at all. I wouldn't dream of letting you wander the streets at this hour, especially after that journey. What was my journey? I feel like we skipped over that. <laughs> so you uh, No, that was like the whole, like, you got that letter at the beginning? I got the letter. I guess I've been traveling. You had to travel day? from wherever you were before to okay. Lenaris. And that's why I'm tired? Okay. I'll see you in the morning. If you need anything, just shout. Why does everybody want me to yell? <laughs> he heads upstairs. You just gotta be loud. And I eagerly remove my boots, then the relief instant. Okay. I settle against the soft cushions, pulling the blankets up to my chin. Despite the abundance of questions that currently flood my mind, I swiftly fall asleep. 